Okay, so we are going mobile with the cell phone video and the uh, Bluetooth headset, uh, which allows us to have a much more sophisticated audio. And that is really, uh, for us anyway, for me, an important thing. Here uh, we can see the battle stack concept. Again, another <laughs> proof of concept. The idea here is to have three game tables um, always in state of play. So you would have a sheet sliding in like this. This is a three by four layout. Again, the reason being putting two of these together would be a six by four table. Uh, and then you would have another, let's get the spray booth out of the way. Then you would have another game table here. And then you would have another game table on top. So you always have access to at least three different game tables. What we'll do now is we'll put our sophisticated spray booth back so that we can show you the last other thing, the latest other thing that we did was this uh, rotating bookshelf. Okay, so before we had this, the problem is, uh, as you can see, we have kind of a limited space. Uh, that's because in our house, we have a concrete pad, which goes all the way to the back. And no, these are not all miniatures, but there are, <laughs> yes, there are a lot of miniatures, but these are not all miniatures. A lot of these are books. And so um, books that are in storage, and it should be noted uh, because they're not always referenced. They're not always needed. They're good to have, but they don't always need to be accessed. So that's, we've made a decision based on either the era or the kind of a item it was, whether or not we needed to access them. So we put them in storage and that's an example right back there. Another example is right here. This bin uh, contains another bunch of magazines and books that are mostly just reference material when we need it. But the eras that we're working on, they don't really, they aren't really needed. As you can see, uh, if you can, there are some magazines uh, in that plastic container back there. And so because those don't, those don't need to be referenced all the time or often, so they're just put in storage. Uh, through our optimization process, you can see that we've got some empty plastic bins. So getting back to the uh, book storage uh, concept, this is a Lazy Susan concept. So the intention here is to have a small footprint and yet be able to have access to almost as many books as a normal book uh, shelf, for instance, like this. But that has now been turned into a wargaming storage uh, unit instead of books. Uh, why? Because those wargaming items are accessed far more than the books are. So that's why they are put in the priority position. And also because it takes up a little less space because um, uh, that is actually a different cabinet than used to be there for holding all the books and magazines. So that was deemed to be better use. This was created because again, uh, we wanted the proof of concept to have a rotating bookshelf that gives us access, and it is heavy, gives us access to the magazines and the books that we often uh, reference, or we, we most often uh, need to look up something that we might be working on, or that we feel we might be inspired to start looking back into. So a lot of this is World War II, a lot of this is uh, Hex Command, or I should say Gunpowder Era, and Ancients and Medieval. And that's what a lot of this is about. That's why um, it's being, um, uh, it's like uh, front and center this way, because this material is the most often uh, that is referenced. And yes, it does turn slowly because it is very heavy. It's much heavier than... Uh, I, I thought it was going to be, but still the fact that it's rotating um, is a bonus. And also it has wheels on the bottom. So the actual cabinet itself, the rotating system of the rotating unit itself is on wheels. So it can be actually moved away from this current location. So that is where we are at with those kinds of activities going on. And uh, needless to say, extremely helpful and uh, beneficial to have a rotating bookshelf.